Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome if you're new here. My name is Jordan and today I have another video for you for Not As Home. I'm going to do the second exploration scenario in Not As Home, which is a Rio de Janeiro departure. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this one, I can't wait to actually get it posted so that you guys can see it. Um, but without any further delay, let's go ahead and get the game on the screen and get started. Alright, so the last exploration scenario I did for Not As Home was the Cross the English Channel. Uh, there's three other ones to do. Uh, I, you know, the one I'm most excited for it would be Winding Down the Rhine. Can't wait to do that one. It sounds like it's going to be... I mean, it, just from the title, it sounds like it's going to be interesting. I did check out the map for the Rhine briefly in my December 2022 update video. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out in, in my upload. But uh, yeah, in this one, we're, we're actually going to check out the Rio de Janeiro departure. So let's, let's get into it. Let's see what this is going to be all about. Okay, so here's the mission briefing. I was going to read it off. However, there's some names here that I know I can't pronounce as I don't speak the language. Uh, however, I'll just try and read it as I can, as best I can. Rio de Janeiro departure. You start at the pier, which is next to a museum, I'm assuming. Take the Clipper Canary out to sea. To, okay, the grammar's really bad. Um, take the Clipper Canary out to sea so it can continue to the next destination. Keep an eye on the depth and mind the traffic. So we're gonna be commanding the Clipper Canary, which is the cruise ship, which I've uh, looked at briefly in my first couple of videos. Actually, the, the video I referenced earlier on the Rhine, I put the Clipper Canary in the Rhine. Um, but this is a really large cruise ship. It's uh, 294 meters long, 32.3 meters wide, and it has a tonnage of 48,853. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the only objective is to reach the destination. So we're starting here. Uh, this is the path that it has projected for us. And then we're going to be finishing somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, let me make sure that the controls are visible on the screen. All right, there we go. So we should be all set to head out now. Um, by the looks of it, the best route is going to be to go forward slightly and then turn here and then go out this way. Uh, there is a little island here as a, a landmark that we can look at, which is right there. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get this ship moving. The thing about the um, the Azimuths is they, they got quite significant power, so the ship isn't going to take much to get going. Um, by the looks of it though, we have a boat coming up on the starboard side, so I need to keep that in mind. Uh, it should pass though before we... You know what, let's back the engine back a just slightly. I'd rather not collide with a boat as we head out. <laughs> we want good luck on this voyage. We don't want to start with a... Uh, we don't want to start with a disaster. And believe it or not, it is, the clock says it's 10 a.m., um, however, it's like really dark. At least I find it very dark. All right, here we go. So I've got the engines sp spooling up now. Something I like seeing here is uh, the, the shadow from the terminal moving across the ship as it departs. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little detail. So I am noticing there are some buoys here, so... Maybe I should try and use those to help me out here. Ooh, what a shot.
All right, I'm gonna steepen the turn to starboard here because we have to get into this section here and avoid this lighter blue section. I really, I, I do wish that I could get further in on this chart though. It's it's a bit hard to navigate using the chart. I'm going to start straightening the azimuth out. Actually, I'll keep it turning slightly. Uh, however, yeah, it looks like maybe in between these two buoys is where I'm trying to get to, so I'll keep it turning a little bit more. According to the depth, we are good. However, it does seem to be getting a little shallow, so hopefully we don't ground, but we should be fine. Alright, I'm going to straighten out the azimuths now. There is a wind on this map too, but uh, I don't think it's really going to affect me as much as it did on the English Channel scenario. Because we're, we're just leaving the harbor and uh, sailing straight out, so it should be fine. Uh, the hard part's pretty much done actually, just getting out of the, the pier. I've also barely given it any any uh, power on the engine, yet we're still going 9.5 knots, which is pretty good. I'm just going to take my time out just to make sure we don't run into any issues here. I'm just keeping an eye on the depth as well because I don't want to I don't want to ground the ship So this is actually the first time I'm seeing the Rio de Janeiro map. It's uh, it's quite pretty. All right, so we're up just about ready to start turning to the starboard side now and start heading out towards the harbor. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and initiate that turn now. I'm going to do it a bit sharply. I'm 
not really seeing any buoys ahead. Kind of, I like looking uh, at the bridge view for this particular vessel, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not really a fan on the other ones, because usually there's a lot of stuff uh, that's blocking the view. Like, for example, on uh, the MV Gopher, it, it's, it's kind of hard to see because there's all the containers and stuff. Um, on, uh yeah, this is... A nice bridge, nice, nice, uh, high view, which is good. Look at the light from the sun coming through. Beautiful. So we're in a we're in a safe space now. Um, yeah, we're we're basically in the main channel now, so we should be good. Now, when we get down here, I know there's like an island or something right there that I can see on the map. Um, how did the briefing say to handle this? Okay, so we're coming down and going to the going that way. Okay, so I'm just like I, I guess the next step is I'm gonna have to t keep an eye out for whatever this is. And I'm actually going to go ahead full on the engine now. We have a ship coming up on our port side. Looks like a some type of freighter. Oh, I can't actually zoom in on this. Oh, there we go. That's weird. another clipper canary ahead as well and then I see a little boat here too um, whoops didn't mean to go that far I wonder if this is the thing that I'm supposed to go that way I'm actually not sure maybe I'm supposed to pass close by because I'm I'm actually going straight where I need to go. Yeah, I'll just 
I'll worry about it as I get closer. I keep trying to figure it out from this distance and that's not really gonna help me. At least the traffic on this map's been a lot better than the English Channel. It was like every every ship I was passing on the English Channel was trying to like turn into me and <laughs> take me out. <laughs> We're at 23 knots right now. I think that's either close to or the max speed for the Clipper Canary, so. We're cruising, you know, like, we're on a tight schedule. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get to the next destination. So I'm just keeping an eye out here because there seems to be another Clipper Canary coming up ahead of us. Oh, I'm actually seeing a buoy ahead as well. So hopefully this is actually pointing out where I'm not supposed to go. I'm planning to stay to the starboard side of that. Uh, we've got another little vessel over there. Quite a bit of traffic, actually. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the island that I have to go in between the mainland and the island uh, once I pass this section here, so. I'm just going to turn slightly to starboard because it looks like I can create more space. It looks like the sister ship in the distance here is coming towards us, but they, they seem to be taking the, the path uh, to our port, so we should be fine. Alright, so the depth is getting shallow pretty quick right now. Alright, looks like we did it. We passed the uh, the danger zone. I'm just turning the ship a little bit to the uh, starboard side right now to line us up for going in between the island and the mainland. Uh, I could probably straighten out for right now.
Oh, that's cool. They actually renamed the, the ship here. So it's not the Clipper Canary, it's the Clipper Toucan. Even though they're using the exact same model. Actually, I, I'm not sure about that. Are they using the exact same model? I mean, it kind of, it definitely looks like the same model. But I like that they made that detail. Because um, that would have been weird to see a bunch of Clipper Canaries all over the place. Alright, let's uh, start turning to starboard again. We're aiming to go into this area. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I turned us into port instead of uh, starboard, so I'm heading the wrong way. Let's see if I can correct this. I'm just keeping an eye on the depth as well because we are heading into a shallow spot due to my navigational error. We seem okay though. That's the thing about this ship, it turns so quickly, like look look how quick I can turn this. Um, but now I'm going to have to turn the azimuth the other way to counter this because we're, we're turning very fast now. Okay, depth-wise, we are good. I'm just going to straighten out the azimuth now. Let's go back to bridge view. So I just want to check, so after we pass this island, the finale, the finishing line should be somewhere out there in, in the sea. What is that, a gondola? Ah, oh, that makes sense. Nice. Reached destination. You have left the harbor and are on your way. Great job. So this one was definitely significantly quicker than um, across the English Channel. I don't think it's actually... Is it going to tell me... 
I think that's it. I think um, it'll just let me sail away from, from this point on. Uh, I don't think it's going to actually come up with any sort of screen to, for me to end it, but uh, this one was definitely a lot easier than Cross the English Channel. Um, it definitely took a lot less time as well. I just checked the recording time and it said it's only been about 30 minutes, so um, yeah, that's, that's really good time. But I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. That's it for me on this one, my friends. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one. And uh, if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you are enjoying the content for Not As Home. As well, if you, uh, you want to see the upcoming exploration scenarios that I have, I still have to do Sailing Through Sydney as well as Winding Down the Rhine. Uh, so if you want to check those out uh, and be in the know once I do release them, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon so that you're notified when I do post new videos. Um, I do also have more videos on the way for Not As Home for the Maneuvering 1 courses. I'm finishing those up now and uh, Maneuvering 2 is coming sh soon after that. So I'm looking forward to continuing to bring you guys content for this game. Um, but yeah, that's it for me on this one. Until next time, take care and I will see you soon. Bye now.